This channel has been created for a while and now I finally got time to upload the content and share things about Beatles with you guys. I want to start with the basics. So today we're talking about the life cycle of Beatles, or more specifically, life cycle of Stack Beatles. Before we start, be sure to follow me on Instagram, we're trying to hit 100k. For all Beatles, the life stages are similar, eggs, larvae, pupae, and adults. But the time they spend on each stage could be very different. Let's check my personal favorite Dorcas Titanus Yasuokai for example. First starts with eggs. Larvae hatched around a month after their mother laid eggs in wood or sawdust. We call these tiny babies L1, which stands for first instar larvae. Unlike the body, scopes of larvae are exoskeletons, that is to say, they are unable to expand or shrink, and limit the growth of larvae. Therefore, larvae cast their old skins off when they absorb enough nutrition and develop bigger scopes, L1 mold and become L2 in about a month. One month after turning L2, they enter the last and longest larvae stage of beetles, L3. After 6 to 8 months, the skins of the larvae turn from white to a bit yellowy, and they will start making their pupa chambers. They usually make pupa chambers along hard surfaces like the inner side of the containers, so you can easily spot the pupal chamber when larvae start making them. When the pupal chambers are done, their legs and mandibles started to be paralyzed. This is called the prepupal stage. Pupae are developing under the skins of prepupae. Around a month later is the pupation. The pupal stage remains for 1-2 to two months, when the exoskeletons of the adults are fully developed. Pupa skins become transparent and dehydrated, then they emerge and turn into adult forms. But the inner organs need more time to be fully developed. The beetles stay in an inactive dormant stage in their pupa chambers for 1 to 2 months, and food is not required during this time. If you want to take dormant beetles out of pupal chambers, it is better to keep them with stable and water absorbent materials like tissue papers, newspapers, or sphagnum moss. The dormant stage stays for 1 to 2 months. Start feeding them when you see your beetles moving restlessly, like trying to fly or crawling around the containers. Many beetles are ready to reproduce once they start eating, but some of them, Dorcas Titanus Yasuka for example, need an extra one or two months to be fully matured. That is the end of this video. Subscribe and tell me about your favorite beetle in the comment, and you might show up on this channel someday.